The 2025 admission process has officially begun and in this video, I will be showing you all you need to know about the process and important dates to take note of. Stay with me to the end so you don't miss out on any important information I will be dropping today. So let's get started with the video. But if you are new here, this is Dr. Juma, a medicine and surgery student of the prestigious University of Ibadan popularly known as the first and best university in sub-Saharan Africa. I post every educational videos like this and updates that you wouldn't want to miss out. So do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. And as we progress, please like this video. Do that now before we continue. Now, what is the first thing you need to know about the JAM 2025 admission process? First thing you need to know is that the 2025 UTME registration begins officially on the 3rd of um, February 2025, Monday 3rd February 2025, and ends on March 8, 2025. So the process begins on the 3rd of February, which is a Monday, and runs to March 8, 2025. Now, make sure you do your registration in between this time frame because after this time frame jam usually does not extend the, the time frame so make sure you do your registration during this time frame now what's the next thing to take note about the 2025 utma the next thing to take note of is that the sales of registration ep closes on march 5th 2025 but their actual registration closes march 8th so registration ep what is the ep these are things you get from the CBT and get from the bank. And this is what at least I comment your original process um, when you get um, to the CBT center. So you need this key pin to start your original process at the CBT center. But you can get it from anywhere. There are some outlets you can get it from. So you can get it from the bank, you can get it from CBT center. So you can get this key pin and do a revision another day. That was that was this in me. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you must have gotten your pin by March 5th. Yes. But the actual registration closes March 8th. So if you are not putting your e pin by March 6th, I don't know your registration, you don't want to register March 7th. Hope you get it. The process of the e pin closes March 5th. Why the actual registration closes March 8th, 2025? Now, what's the next thing to know about the 2025 admission process? The next thing is that registration for mock closes February 23rd, 2025. So, if you want to opt in for the mock exam this year, please make sure you register before February 23rd, 2025. The next thing here is that the sale of direct entry um, application runs from March 10th to April 7th, 2025. So, EP registration, uh, sorry, um, direct entry registration runs from March 7th, sorry, March 10th to April 7th, 2025. So, if you are going for direct entry and not the normal job exam, Please um, register between this period, March 10th to April 20, um, 7th, 2025. Now, the next thing to take note of is that the mock UTME, that is going if you enroll for the mock, is going to take place um, April 5th, 2025. So, the mock, jam mock exam for this year, is going to be April 5th, 2025. Then, the actual UTME starts April 25, 2025. And around the May 5th, 2025. So the mock exam is on um, April 5th. Why the actual UTME starts April 25 and around the May 5th? Yes, you have to, you're going to, you're just going to fall between this period because um, every candidate has its own unique date, you get, and um, time. So because there are different timing and everything. So the well, exam will be between April 25 and May 5th. So you have to start preparing right away. Now the next thing you need to take note of is that the job official novel for this year is the Lucky Head Master. The Lucky Head Master written by Kabai Alabi Gaba. So this uh, you don't need to purchase this um um jam novel. It's gonna give it to you during your registration. Yeah. When you are done with your registration, you're gonna be getting this um, booklet for free. You don't need to purchase it anywhere. So the jam novel for this year is no longer life changer. Please take note. So many people have been life changer. It's the lucky head master. Even though the hard copy is not given, the soft copy 
will be given. In any way, you must get a, a copy of this booklet after your registration. So, the next thing here is that you must be 16 years by September 30th, 2025, before you can sit this year's UTM. So, those that are below that, below that age um, bracket cannot write um, the UTME this year. That if you don't, if you're not going to clock 16 by September 30, 2025, you cannot enroll for this year's UTME. Now, with that being said, there's a new application for those below 16 by September 30th, 2025. It's called the mock trial for underage candidates. The mock trial for underage candidates. Let me give you what I have here. It says Jambo will introduce a mock trial testing examination for candidates who may not qualify for admission into universities, polytechnics, or colleges of education due to being below 16 years of age. So, if you are below 16 by September 30th, 2025, you cannot sit the UTM. Yeah. So, but Jam has given you another option. You can try the exam this year before you clock 16 next year or whenever you clock 16. So, to see how the exam works and prepare for it. So you can write the UTM, or if in, in case um there's another thing jam said, if you are not um if you don't want to sit like you don't want to use the admission for you don't use the jam for admission, this you just case it. Things that are below 16, you can also enroll for this person. So it's um, an optional mock just for those that don't want to use the admission for this academic season, yeah, this year. With that being said, you already know that you must be above 16, like you must be at least 16 years by September and 30th before you are eligible to receive this year's UTME. Now, I'll be telling you the registration cost and different categories you can um, enroll for. The different e pins you can get during your jump um, registration. The first one is the mock only trial testing. Like I said, the mock only trial testing for underage candidates. So if you want to get that, the e pin you're going to get is going to cost you 3500 Because when you get to your CBT center or wherever you want to Purchase your EP. They'll be asking you what EP do you want to buy. So if you are below 16 or you don't use your admission this year, you can get a mock only trial testing. You just test the UTM. Hope you get it. So it's 3,500 now to get that EP. And the second one is the direct entry application. So if you want to go for direct entry, the EP costs 5,700 Nira. 5,700 Nira. So if you want to go for direct entry, that's the cost. Then for UTME without mock, for UTME without mock, you're going to be writing down without taking the mock exam, it's 7,200 Naira. Please take note, 7,200 Naira. Um, then the last one is the jam exam, like the UTME with mock. I'm going to be doing both the mock exam and the UTME. It costs 8,700 Naira. 8,700 Naira. I'm going to be doing both the UTME exam and um, the mock exam. So, um, if you want to go for that option, it's 8,700 euro. Now, for the breakdown, what was the breakdown? For me, I have what was the breakdown of the document. But sometimes, when you get some CBT center, so they tend to be funny and say, pay for this one. No, everything has been paid for in that 8,700 euro. I'm going for mock and 7,000 euro. I'm not going for mock. So, everything has been paid for. Now, what was the breakdown? The breakdown is that the application fee is 8,500 euro. No, you are not telling me that nobody pays, you're going to pay another extra. So that's the price you must pay. That's the fee you're going to pay if you are doing your exam at a jam recognized CBT center. So don't pay an extra fee. Now, um, the application fee is 3,500 naira. Why the reading test, the cleared master, is 1,000 naira. So I've paid for it, like I told you. Now, the next one is that you have the CBT center registration service charge. That's the, the fee they charge you for registering at their center. And this thing is paid to um is paid directly by jam to them so you don't have to pay them another fees or people like um, my the CBT center charged me so so and so the CBT center doesn't charge you um any fee again it's just this um, 8700 naira or 7200 naira that's why we really tell students that you do it at a jam recognized CBT center do you original at a jam approved CBT center yes um because they're going to be paid 700 naira from the original fee you get then there's another thing they call the CBT Center UTME service charge. That means the center is going to be writing your UTME in the end. They're going to be getting a fee of 1,500 from JAM. 
So you get. So you don't have to pay anything again. So what I'm very trying, what I'm telling you all this thing that you don't have to pay any fee throughout your registration again. Like when you're going to write the exam, write mock. Nobody is telling you pay this one, pay this one. You have everything that be paid for. Also, there's something called the CBT mock service charge. That we only writing mock. That one five that is on top of the um registration fee is given to them. You get. So that one five is called the mock service charge. So you already paid that one five. So you don't need to pay any money on the exam. You have to bring one five or two to pay. No, that let me pay for. Then the extra thing there is the bank charges. Bank charges is 500 naira. Now please take note that this is the breakdown. And whichever EP you are going to be going for, is it the one with a uh, mock that you are able to write the exam, the one without mock, or you are going for a direct entry, or you are an underhead, you don't just take the exam. You have to know the EP, you have to specify it. Because after you have made payments, it cannot be re re um, reversed. Hope you get it. It cannot be reversed. Now, please take note that every information, I'm sharing this, very important. Every information you put in your jam registration cannot be changed easily. Even if some cannot be changed at all. Why there are some that can be changed? But it takes you time, energy, and all that. So make sure you are seeing the right information. Stuff like your name cannot be changed at all. Now you must fill in every information properly. If you are involved in every process or your admission process from beginning to the end, go to the registration center and do it for yourself and everything. So in case you don't get something about the registration process, I did a video about the jump registration proper. Everything to know the mistakes to avoid and everything. So just um, there's a tag that's in the screen up here. Just click on it. Or I'll be placing the link in the comment section for easy access. Yeah. And use the tag or you can use the um, link below. For now, these are the vital information and the dates you need to take note concerning the UTM. If you have any questions or concerns, if you have any issue or whatever, you can drop it in the comment section and I'll be going through the comments to answer your questions. And after that, I know this video has been helpful to you. So just let me know how this video has been able to you in the comment section so that I can create more content like this. If you want to create more content like this, just let me know in the comment section if you have not liked this video and subscribe to this channel please do that right away don't forget to keep reading till you become the book i remain the one and only dr jeremiah and i will see you in the next video